this is take two because I realize I'm fucking retarded. So the new season's called Season of the Worthy or something, something about Charles of Osiris. You go to the Crucible director. Um, there should be something here for the Imperium Foundation if you donate a in or whatever. And it's going to show you a cutscene. Now here's the part where I'm fucking retarded. So uh, if you don't have the season pass, which I don't, I'll show you that I don't. If you don't have the season pass, you could only do the sundial once and that was it. So I did the sundial once, got the breach light, I'm like, whatever, been there, done that. So the Imperium Foundation came out. And, um, they said everyone could donate Fractaline. I couldn't donate Fractaline. And they said, oh, well, you have to do the sundial. I'm like, well, I already did the sundial. Well, I guess you have to do the sundial then. So, my dumbass never really investigated and says, oh, okay, well, I guess the sundial is only locked to fucking... It's only locked to, uh, what you call it? To season pass. So, I guess only if you use your free chance then you could donate to the Imperium Foundation. Turns out that you can actually fucking... You can do this. The only part that's season pass restricted is Legend. What the? When was this? What? This was probably at the very beginning, and I'm so fucking stupid. I hate myself. I could have been grinding out fucking weapon frames and then, uh, fucking, like trophy hunter and shit. I'm so pissed. I wasted all my time. I, well, I mean, I didn't even waste them. I was doing other shit. But that, that, there, that, that's my side tangent. So I'm fucking retarded. So don't worry about that. Um, so maybe you shouldn't even listen to the rest of this video. But the point is, what they're saying is that they're, they did their usual TWAB that Vidoc bullshit where they're saying, we want to get Trials right, whatever. So if you don't know, they're bringing back Trials with the original gear and uh, some of the weapons. And three maps from D1, which is Cauldron, Anomaly, and uh, not Rusted Lands, Exodus Blue, right? Those three maps and Trials. Now here's a couple of things. One, I'm concerned if Trials of Osiris, if that's going to be the seasonal activity, do you have to pay for it? And two, is there going to be a separate sandbox for Trials? Because the changes, clearly the changes that they're doing for Crucible, I, I think we're in mind for Trials. But if you look at the, the, the Vidoc, there are certain things that popped out like, um, well one, they said level advantages were enabled. Two, you saw someone get hit with a Dawnblade directly and didn't die and they needed two shots. Three, you can look at the damage numbers and they're really funky. Like uh, so, a Spare Ration did 270 to, to the head, it was some weird shit. So, I'm hoping that there's a separate sandbox for Trials, because my greatest fear is that if they release Trials as it is now, it's going to be it's gonna be worse than what it was last year, or last time. Sure, you won't have Icebreaker, or whatever, but you have Handheld Supernova, One-Eyed Mask, Stomper Hunties, Waited, you know, like, there's still a lot of shit that's kind of broken right now that needs to be, like, reined and checked. So I'm hoping that they're going to further, because that, that patch notes that they listed some of the changes that they said was part of a bigger patch. So hopefully there's a separate sandbox, because I'm also afraid that they might even go so far as overbalancing things and just nerfing everything, and then that trickling into the rest of the game. Because my biggest issue with Destiny 1 is that I felt like Crucible ruined PvE for me, because the Crucible changes affected PvE, so when they nerfed all rifles, they got dumped certain PvE, when they nerfed hand cannons, they got dumped, like... So I'm afraid that if they're going to overbalance and try to make everything balanced for Trials, they might just neuter like the rest of the PvP sandbox for you know non-Trials play. And two, my other biggest concern is that artifacts, it looks like, I don't know if the artifact mods are enabled, but it looks like artifact levels are enabled. Because there was a screen, there was a shot, uh, like a scene of one person at 1,026 um, light level. So... I'm hoping it's not going to be like Iron Banner, because the way this works is that if you're, with, if you're 10 levels below your enemy, then you do 33% less damage, and you take 33% more damage, right? So imagine imagine if you're fighting, like, let's say you're 700, and you're fighting someone who's, and someone, yeah, and you're fighting someone who's 690. Basically, the way that works is that, imagine your gun had a permanent Rampage times 3, right? Because Rampage times 3 in Crucible is like around a 30% increase. So you basically have a permanent Rampage times uh, three up, and now what is kind of smart is that the way it's balanced is that Rampage won't lower your time to kill for a majority of weapons, except for maybe pulses, but it'll just make it more forgiving for instance, if you have Rampage like on a spare rations, it goes from like three headshots to like two heads, one body, or is that for like a, is that for like a 140, but the point is, it just makes it more forgiving, in some cases it does lower the time to kill, but in most cases it just makes the gun require less precision and then vice versa like imagine if you had a negative rampage stack so you'd have to take an extra headshot to kill some of the hand cannon or you have to take you know an extra you know like that's my issue because honestly i would i'll do it like this you'd have a barrier to entry be like you have to be minimum 950 
and light level advantages are disabled, right? Because that way, you can't, because I think people are concerned on PC2s that if, if there's no light level limit, like, you know, like a minimum, then anyone could just, like, you know, like, you know, I've heard of hacking is a really big problem on Destiny 2, because everyone can just make a free-to-play account and just hack or whatever. So I hope, and they kind of reverse their decision on making power levels enabled, and just make a minimum required power level, because if they want to make things, because I can't believe they said it, if they want to make things balanced, you don't want to have power involved, because all that does, what that usually boils down to is that, this person will have an advantage over me because they put more time in the grinding pinnacle. They put more time in that. And, I mean, you could argue for that, but this is PvP. This isn't a PvE game. This is player versus player, quote-unquote. This is, like, the skill. This is the skill. You know, this is Tra Trousers of Osiris. This is, like, the top of the top. It's, like, comp, right? So, I don't think there's anything competitive. Uh, I don't think there's not anything that's really fair or competitive at being a, at a permanent disadvantage or a permanent advantage because you have time to invest into the game so that's about it um i am excited for trials i never i'm not really much of a crucible player like i play crucible but i get usually tilted and i get off but i do i always like trials because it, it felt worth it you know the weapons are always cool the armor is always cool uh, especially i hope maybe they bring back the adept versions but yeah that's that's about it also don't be a fucking retard like me and uh well i mean it's probably too late now but the sundial is a thing you can do the sundial i did not know this I did I really wish they made an announcement that hey you could use you could do the sundial but uh, anyways thanks for watching